Hi everyone, my name is Erin Andy. I'm your school librarian and site technology facilitator at Glen Oaks Magnet High School. And this video is a quick tutorial about how to set up your EBR student Gmail account. Uh, it is expected that all of our students create an account this year. In the past, students did not have access to Gmail with their Google account, uh, except for last year. Last year, the district allowed 11th and 12th graders to set up an account if they so wanted. But this year, any school that is coded as a high school will have the ability to create student Gmail accounts. Okay, so I'm going to use a document that the district distributed. We've added it to your classroom to the assignment. If you follow along, if you get out your Chromebook while I'm uh, going through this, you can go step by step and set up that Gmail account. Okay, if you have any questions, my email address is emurray, that's E M U R R A Y at ebrschools.org. Okay, so notice what it says. We're going to start with EBR student Gmail account. And it says, note, your EBR student Gmail address is your EBR username followed by at ebrstudents.org. This will be for sending and receiving emails. Everything else will remain what it's been, which is the at ebrschools.org. But for the purposes of Gmail, it'll be your EBR username at ebrstudents.org. Okay, so let's go through the steps they have. It says step one, go to mail.google.com, sign in using your EBR username and password. Remember, your username for Google ends with at ebrschools.org. Okay, so you're going to sign into Gmail. But step two, you need to go click on the gear icon near the top right corner. And then you're going to click, click on see all settings. So that's the gear icon, which is for settings. But then you're going to click further to say see all settings. All right, that is step two. Step three, you're going to choose accounts. And then choose the phrase add another email address okay so you're going to go to accounts and then slightly further down add another email address that is step three going a little far step four enter your ebr gmail address it is your ebr username followed by at ebrstudents.org Remember, it's your EBR username followed by at ebrstudents.org. And then you're going to select next step. So I want you to look at this right here. I'm so glad in the earlier version it was much smaller, but this time it's much larger. See where it says, leave the check mark in the box for treat as an alias. Okay, so this right here, leave the check mark in the box for treat as an alias. And there's that next step. Step five, scrolling down just a little bit more. Choose make default for the email address that ends with at ebrstudents.org. Step five is choose make default for the email address that ends with at ebrstudents.org. Okay, there's that make default. And step six will be to select always repeat from, rep always reply from default address. Always reply from default address. And then it's going to say currently, and in this case, um, J Doe, which is the example, but it would be your username at ebrstudents.org. So there's that make default, and then always reply from default address. Okay. And then at this point, you're going to save everything. Okay. So remember, every school that's coded at a high school has the ability to make a student Gmail account. This is something that all Panthers at Glen Oaks Magnet High School should be attempting and trying to do. If you have any questions, you can contact me. My email address is emurray, that's E-M-U-R-R-A-Y at ebrschools.org. And um, good luck this year. Thank you so much.